Praise God for another day, another week, however you want to enter into it. As for us, we are so happy, we are excited that we are given the amazing opportunity, the privilege to bring daily a small thought to you, wherever you are. I believe this small thought has the power to bring life, hope, encouragement, and also to challenge you to make some quality and right decisions. I want to start this week from the Gospel of John chapter 2. For the Christians, they know that this is the very first miracle that Jesus did and it is the turning water into wine. For those of you who are not familiar with it, I want you to know that there was a day when Jesus was invited for a wedding and I while he was invited in the wedding and everything was going on well, Jesus' mother was there, the Bible tells us his disciples, I assume that it was somewhat a relation of Jesus. So Jesus also was there as a guest and things were going on well. But suddenly in the middle of this great occasion, a problem arose. Sometimes it's the uh, same thing in our lives. Sometimes in life, at the most unexpected time, an unexpected issue begins to rise up. Friends, none of us plan for problems, none of us plan for trials, None of us expect the worst to happen, but the truth about life is at the most unexpected moments, such things could happen. And the Bible tells us in the middle of this function, suddenly there was a shortage of wine. I say that wine was not available for the people to have a good time. When you speak about wine in the Bible, wine represents joy. And so I'm saying that joy rang out in the party. Maybe those of you who are listening to the tone of my voice, maybe you have run out of joy. Maybe you're living for the sake of living. Maybe life is really miserable. Maybe you're going through the motions of life. That in that function, wine rang out. There was no joy, but the good news was, Jesus was at that function. The good news for you is you are listening to a small talk that can begin to change your whole life. Just because you don't have joy today does not mean that you need to give up on the most important things and valuable things in life. Please take a moment, think for a moment, beloved friends. If you don't have joy today, I plead with you, would you do yourself a favor saying, I want joy back. God, would you restore joy into me that I may live a joyful life. May God bless you.